Hey everybody, just thought I would uh, check in real quick. I just got back from the doctor's office for my back and they are now referring me to an orthopedic surgeon. Uh, they did x-rays today because my lower back just is getting worse and worse. And they discovered when they looked at the x-rays that the L5 and S1 are missing the disc it, it's no longer there it's completely disintegrated and then the one above it the l4 l5 is almost gone so uh my doctor was like yeah don't let anybody tell you it's all in your head <laughs> he says i don't know how you're walking around to be honest so he's referring me back to uh, the orthopedic surgeon I saw when I first got hurt back in 1999. Um, so that's kind of cool. I get to go back to the same old doctor that I had before. He was really nice. I liked him a lot. And um, he said the x-rays on my neck from my cervical fusion look good. That it showed normal wear and tear for being 12 years old since I had that surgery. Um, but that on, on the whole, it looked good. So I'm happy about that. And uh, that seemed to have done pretty good. So next up is to wait for them to set an appointment for me to go back and see the orthopedic surgeon and let him have a look-see and decide what he thinks would be the best course of action for me to take, whether if it's just to kind of see if I can ride this out for a little bit longer or if we have to seriously start talking surgery so um we'll see what happens and I'll keep y'all up to date in the meantime keep smiling you woke up and you're breathing this morning so that's a plus um that's the way I look at it anytime I start feeling down on myself I think there's always somebody else in the world who's a hell of a lot worse off than I am, so suck it up. <laughs> and that's literally what I tell myself every day. There's somebody worse off than you, suck it up, and do what you need to do. And um, I'm very lucky, I have a job that I really love, I work with people that I really enjoy spending time with, I have all of y'all online from YouTube and stuff, and I don't know what I would do without every one of my, in the community, um, Y'all really lift me up, give me a lot of hope, make me feel good. Um, it's very, very appreciated. Um, same with the gifts. I've received several gifts of late um, that I'm not going to call out names because I think that's, you know, neither here nor there. But it's greatly appreciated and I really love them. So for those of you who sent me something, Thank you very much, and um, bless you, bless you, bless you. And I'm about halfway to raising the money for the eye treatment I need. Um, it's not medication. It's for uh, a special light treatment. They, you get fitted with what's like a VR helmet-looking thing, and they shoot red infrared light into your eyes and it's supposed to do whatever it does when they do that evidently they've had a lot of success with this and I'm a prime candidate so I've still got about uh, right about $700 left to raise on that um, I don't have a GoFundMe set up yet I'm procrastination trying to sit down and fill all that stuff out and I just keep putting it off um, I need to seriously do it. I'm going to try to get it done this weekend so I can just post that. In the meantime, if you want to donate or contribute, you know, if you can afford to. If you're living paycheck to paycheck like I am, I don't want your money. I want your prayers and your goodwill and to share it. But only if you've got a couple of bucks extra would I ever even consider asking for money? I, it's awkward for me to do so even in that respect. 
but it's an expensive procedure and even though it's been approved by the FDA the insurance company won't approve it because they consider it experimental go figure it's like why do we pay so much for insurance if they won't cover anything go figure that one out anyway so I'm enjoying the rest of the afternoon off we're trying to I'm sort of kind of working from home um, and uh, I'm just taking it a day at a time I will see everybody Wednesday on the Sisters of the Mystical Tarot. Uh, we're going to be on, uh, I think it's Allie's channel this week. No, it's, Ava or, I think it's Allie's channel this week. Check the community tab. It's there. Um, and uh, let's see, Juno and I are going to be on this Sunday. Uh, we're doing uh, another phase of the uh, Jin Shin Jitsu for the energetic healings. Um, kind of building on what we did last week, last time. And we're going to do more destiny cards. So um, if you've already had your birthday read and you would like to maybe have a family member or a friend or a business partner's read, then, you know, that's fine. We'll do that too. And um, with each one that she pulls as a reading for y'all, then I'm going to pull a corresponding uh, oracle card. That way she's not doing all the work. And um, that should just about cover it. So y'all have a blessed day, and I will talk to everybody soon. Bye.